the flooding in Metro Detroit continues to be a problem, and as we've seen, more severe weather has followed. Experts point to the important role climate change is playing. Tackling the climate crisis has been a priority for some lawmakers. And here now to talk about Detroit's recent flooding and the steps you and I can take is Donnell Wilkins. She's the president and CEO of the Green Door Initiative. Good morning, Donnell, and thanks for taking the time to be with us today. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So tell us about the Green Door Initiative. What does your company do? Well, the Green Door Initiative is a nonprofit uh, located in the city of Detroit. Our mission is to ensure that everyone is environmentally literate, capable of living and promoting a sustainable lifestyle. And that's regardless of zip code, of race and of income. And how has the Green Door Initiative been working with the community in the aftermath of these floods? We've seen devastation and so many homeowners say this has happened to me yet again. Well, we are making ourselves a resource to the community. Sometimes it's just very difficult to negotiate and navigate all of the resources and opportunities to get to receive relief and to receive help. So the Green Door Initiative has stepped up. We've made ourselves uh, available to help folks understand how FEMA works and how to access some of those resources. Uh, we're grateful that FEMA is setting up uh, local um, uh, resource centers today and yesterday, so that's going to be helpful. But we are there to just help answer questions, help people get through some of the more complicated processes around the applications and forms. It can be pretty overwhelming. It certainly can be, and we, Donnell, have heard that from so many homeowners. We were just seeing those images of that catastrophic flooding from last month. Tell me, do you have any numbers or statistics on, on what you and your team are seeing in the city of Detroit as people try to navigate recovery from this and getting help from FEMA? Well, two things. One, we're especially um, concerned about what happened in 2014 and don't want that to happen again. Just last night, 122,000 people lost their uh, power. That's, that's what occurred in 2014. And after all the dust settled, more than 22,000 people were not able to receive support from FEMA, FEMA were not able to um, uh, qualify because they didn't have insurance and, and other things. So the most vulnerable, the hardest hit folks are the ones that we're most concerned about. And we really want to make certain that they access this. Folks who are renters, folks who are are, are uh, the elderly, uh, the poor, and and even extremely um, uh, young people need help navigating these processes. Unfortunately, what we're seeing is an increase in extreme weather uh, events, and we have to cr create some processes that would invest in infrastructure and so that folks are able to withstand some of these um, recurring events that's going to happen too often, I'm sad to say, in the in the coming um, in, in the coming Donnell, really quick before we let you go, um, can you share with our viewers resources that are available through the Green Door Initiative? Well, if you contact us at through our website at www.greendoorinitiative.org or call us at 313-922-8055, we're able to talk you through some of the application processes. We're able to provide you with um, uh, key in, in folks within the federal government, within the local community that are able to assist. And so we're just trying to make it a little easier for people. Give us a call or look us up on, on the internet and we, we will make ourselves available. Danelle Wilkins, President and CEO of the Green Door Initiative, thank you so much for being with us. We'll be right back.